tech is is pretty interesting. You know, I've been around it for a long time, and uh, I, I just looked at some num numbers recently and and saw that um, you know for the last I don't know five or six years the the adoption around comp technology is still sitting at about 50%, which was kind of fascinating. In my experience, comps kind of always lagged um, from a technology perspective and um, people getting the funds to do it, even with the heavy lift that it is, it tends to be sort of an afterthought. Like we, you know, people are using Excel. In my experience, Excel was, you know, always the, the biggest competition and so, with all of the things that people need to do today, it's just not a viable option anymore. And in terms of how it's changing and adapting, and what I'm seeing is, um, you know, better comp analytics. Again, an analytics in general uh, have have been big for the last number of years. And again, since comp tends to be a little bit of a, a, a straggler behind everything else, you know, that's going to be something I think we start to see more of. And where that comes into play is really around, you know, things like risks, turnover potential, um, the, the equity side of the equation. So I think there will be more visibility to managers around pay equity uh, when they're making these decisions. So, you know, not the detailed information that you see in comp, but enough information and analytics around that data to help them make decisions when they're making those rewards decisions and better integration, mm. right? With other solutions like learning uh, and productivity tools and other things. The process itself is complex and we've, you know, automated that to the nth degree, right? With all of our processes, but getting to the point where you can, you know, have really good data to make the decision uh, is gonna be key.